Hey everybody, uh, so it's a day before I take off for California. I get out, get up at about six something tomorrow, and then I fly out to, just checking out my hair, uh, I fly out for California and I will be meeting Justin in uh, Redding, California. So pretty excited about that. It's going to be a, a pretty incredible journey. I'll be there for well, I'll fly back out on the 22nd, and uh, I'll get back in the morning of the 23rd, so I'll be doing a red-eye back into Tampa. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited, and uh, yeah, it should be an interesting an interesting journey. So, uh, today, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, what is referred to in the metaphysical or New Thought community as a psychic attack. Um, However, it can, there's a lot that's involved in this, and it's not just so mysterious. You know, there is some mysterious stuff to it, and there is some things, you know, that are a part of that, but there's a lot more to it. And so um, I started thinking about this because in many times in my life, I've, you know, ended friendships or ended relationships, and I can actually almost feel that person's energy or their, their thoughts uh, coming through and all their feelings because I am an empath and I feel all that kind of stuff. That's something that I've experienced a lot. So, but, um, you know, I, everybody, it's not just being an empath. I mean, if you cared about somebody, if you loved them, if you had some, uh, some feelings for them, uh, you're going to be connected with them at least uh, for a certain amount of time after your friendship has ended or after your relationship has ended. You know, you actually love them at some point. And that's something I want you, uh, the, the people forget. So you, you have a relationship with somebody. I don't care what it is. I don't care how angry you are with them. If you're angry with them or upset with them or hurt by them, there's still a part of you that loves them. And people say, I don't love them. And you're all, what you're upset about is their actions, the things that they've done. They're, you're upset because they've disappointed you. They didn't meet your expectations. All those kinds. Of, there's a whole bunch of things I could get into, but that's, that's a whole topic for another video. So, but, you know, let, those are the kind of things that I've experienced. And so let's, let's get, kind of get into the, the definition, um, definitions here. Oh, and by the way, just want everybody uh, to say that I got this all, this, my information today, I like to just go out because, I mean, these are things that I understand on a spiritual level and I've practiced, but, you know, it's nice to just get other people's work, you know, that they've put into writing it. Um, and uh, being a trainer, there's one thing, rule that you always uh, run across, is you never reinvent the wheel. So this website is www.mk, M as in Mary, K as in uh, Kite, projects.com. She has a lot of uh, qu a lot of information on here, so uh, go check it out if you want to go and check it. It's www.mkprojects.com. So I just want to give props and, uh, you know, just tell you about the source that I have. So what is a psychic attack? What are they? So psychic attacks involve the manipulation and movement of different types of dark energies, entities, and spirits. They involve the transferring of dark and negative energies into some uh, someone's physical or energetic bodies. Some of these dark energies and entities that find their way into physical and energetic bodies and homes are sent without awareness, even though they are sent by humans. So remember I talked about the seven chakras and the energy system the other day. Uh, that's your energetic body. And so others are sent intentionally to create harm and damage, often to control, manipulate, and punish the individual. They can involve uh, ritualistic techniques or ceremonies or use the psychic powers of, uh, of the mind or a combination of both. Auras are weakened by re repressed emotions, negative emotions, through the regular use of drugs, alcohol, through smoking, and a variety of diseases. The physical presence of the fungus, parasites, worms, or metal, chemical, or atomic poisons can seriously weaken an aura. Therefore, the care and protection of your energetic body is important as the physical body, so you can repel psychic attacks to stay strong and healthy. So that sounds all scary and everything like that. However, the purpose of my video is not here to scare you. It's to talk about that you are empowered. I mean, you have this energy body. You are made in the image of uh, God, the, the creator that created you. So uh, with that being said, you are. this is not something to be scared of. It's just that what happens is because we're ignorant of things, because uh, we're, they, we've been manipulated into thinking that we're less than, um, there, are, there are energies out there that may, want to make us feel insignificant when we're not. You are actually made in the image of God, which means that you are a great light in this world. You are not insignificant. You are not the mustard seed. Uh, you're not, I'm sorry, you're not the raisin in the galaxy, so to speak. You're very much an amazing light. And when you understand that and know who you are, you don't have to be afraid of these energies. Uh, they're not something to um, uh, bark at or, you know, to... Um, 
you know, belittle or, you know, to play with necessarily. You're not going to go out and mess around with these things, you know, but the, what I'm getting at is that if you know who you are, you know you're protected, if that makes any sense. So it's not something necessarily to be afraid of, but I also believe, I also am a firm believer in understanding what the truth is and what the uh, what things are. So, I mean, I have, I have friends that are Native American shamans and they've been trained and, and, and they have told me that there are shamans out there that are not necessarily good and they do things uh, to manipulate people. I have been uh, used uh, techniques in my lifetime where I was not doing good and there is this thing called whatever you put out there, you get back. It's called karma. And so uh, if you put out a bat or if you try to manipulate somebody through energy or through intuition or psychic attack, uh, it will come back to you. And that's something that we need to understand as well. So um, so what I'm getting at here is that if you understand who you are, you don't necessarily be, need to be afraid of these. So now let's go into uh, intentional psychic attacks or spells, curses, or voodoo witchcraft. The dark and negative energy sent intentionally by others are called psychic attacks and can seriously affect uh, humans and animals in a physical and emotional, mental, and spiritual levels. Psychic attacks can include spells, voodoo mantras, invocations, negative energy rays, or other types of black magic. The, uh, they attack uh, um, psychics and produce uh, d uh, debilitating effects on the overall health and energy level of the affected person. Psychic attacks can also be sent unintentionally by someone who has the ability to send these but is uh, not aware they have this ability. So, like I said before, voodoo and all this stuff sounds really scary. Uh, and, you know, in, in, in the wrong hands, it, it, it can cause a lot of problems and it causes a lot of bad things. And there are very bad people out there and bad energies and those are things that we need to be mindful of. However, your energy body, this the seven chakras, that is where the energy and your body itself is where God lies. It lies within you. Uh, it's the energy of the divine that is within you. Uh, if you've studied Reiki or Jigong, you know that energy is life force energy. Well, what is life force? force energy it is the divine that is god and when you man uh, or tend to your energy body in your body body mind and spirit uh including meditating every day uh have it and it's not necessarily this wusa quiet meditation take some time for yourself to be quiet turn off your electronics just for 30 minutes a day have a quiet space for yourself and just be just be for a second be in your thoughts be in the things uh, be, be in uh you know in your um in your space, so to speak. You don't have to understand everything about this. You just have to be able to process your thoughts. And what I call the self-awareness game is something that if you're practicing self-awareness every day, if you're taking 30 minutes of every day to ponder your thoughts, imagine where, what you've been thinking that day, uh, see about changing the story, see about changing how you thought about things, understanding if those thoughts came from you or not, uh, those are things that you can reject or deny. I was actually just going through an experience recently where I was dreaming having an argument in my dreams with an ex. And so when I finally uh, realized what was happening, I said, I start, started saying in my head, every time this argument would start to come up, I would, I would sit, wake up, or if it was during the day when I was awake, I would say, no, if you have an issue, you can pick up the phone and call. And th it's very easy. Pick up the phone and call, and then it can happen. And this is uh, something that, you know, this is uh, that can happen from exes from years ago or friends or family from years ago. It's just until you had let go of that attachment of that person, it's going to continue to happen because you'll be able to feel them. So how do we let go? We can start saying in our meditation, in our prayer, we can say, I let go of anything that is not of my divine plan, and I call back in anything of my divine plan. You don't say, get rid of that person, I don't want them there. You say, if they are not in my divine plan, if they are not meant to be there, I let go of them. Because you don't want anything that's not in your divine plan. And you should say this every day when you wake up. I let go of whatever is not of my divineness, or whatever is not of my divine plan, and I call back in whatever is uh, of my divine plan. That way, any negative energies, any negative attachments, anything attachments to people, spirits, energy, whatever, you're letting it go. Because you have dominion over this as far as this body. You are the ruler of this essence right here. And you have to start tending to it. My friend uh, Virginia says this. She said, if you are not pruning your garden, 
if you are distracted by your television, your books, your sorrows, your your jobs, your computers and everything else, your iPads, all that kind of stuff, then you're in the illusion and you're not connected uh, to the body. And so if you're not pruning your garden, meaning this body, taking care of it, then uh, that's when these energies can come in and cause attack because you're not aware. You're not, pay you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention to yourself. And you need to be paying attention to your body, mind, and spirit. That is super important. If you're not paying attention to your body, mind, and spirit, and working on it on a daily basis, you, here, right here, when you are working on yourself, loving yourself, that energy is going to runneth over, and that's what you give out to the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the world. So that's the thing. Is that everything is here as a give and take. And if you're in that flow of taking care of yourself, trust me, your, um, your life is going to get a lot better. So let's, let's jump into uh, the next slide here. It says, dark spirits and entities. The, uh, there are dark spirits and entities that can move into physical bodies and auras affecting what people think, speak, do, desire, and feel. The human who is invaded by these spirits or entities can take a physical attributes, illnesses, and behaviors of the spirit or entity occupying the person to such a degree that there appears to be complete personality change. So it's almost like this energy is coming in and it's taking you over and it can cause depression. So major things can happen to you and traumas can happen to you and then these energies start to be attracting to you because law of attraction says likes attract like and you attract what you uh, what you are, not necessarily what you want. So if you're in this bad space, what are you going to start attracting? Now, I'm not saying go out there, beat yourself up, and get scared and everything. What happens is everything that happens in life brings a lesson. So if this happens to you, you can actually work your way through this, and 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 uh, maybe a video like this comes across, and it you, you're sort of informed about it, and then you say, wait, maybe this is what's happening to me. It's not for you to go <gasps> or freak out. It's for you to say, wait. What can I do? Now, I'm a firm believer in energetic healing or people that can help you and stuff like that, but I'm an even bigger believer in you learning how to do it for yourself because there is something that you need to understand. There are psychics and uh, ministers and teachers and uh, pastors of churches and there's the Bible and all that other kind of stuff. But if you don't become your own savior, then you're going to be in trouble in the end because there are things that if you are not aware you'll be in trouble. And that's not a fear tactic. That's something that you need to understand. Trust me, I came from a church that all they preached was fear. Fear, fear, fear. I remember they talked about how the Beatles were evil when I was, uh, when I was a kid <clears throat> and how everything was horrible. And so, and then I found out later that the church leader, leader had been molesting his, uh, his daughter for years and had to admit it in his second divorce. So this is a church that I looked up to when I was growing up and thought was all that great. And that is what is called mind control. They get you to start thinking things. And if the, if the answers come within here, you, your, uh, your connection to God is within here. So if you can understand and pay attention to that, you will not go wrong because God will, uh, the, that energy inside of you will guide you exactly where you need to go. It will protect you. It'll say, go here, go here. And sometimes it tells you things that don't, don't, uh, don't feel good. And that's okay. If you have to let go of something, it'll say, it's time to let go. If this is meant to be, it'll come back to you. And and so sometimes you have to do that. And it gives you guidance of things that, um, you know, you really have to start paying attention. And that's why taking time for yourself every day is super important because you need to pay attention to the divine aspect of yourself. The next part of this is negative thought forms. Another major type of <laughs> dark energy, uh, negative energy that can be sent to others is through negative thinking, anger, wishing harm to others, jealousy, animosity, seeking revenge, vindictiveness, or other forms of thought that are based in anger, rage, and fear. These are called thought forms and they can be lodged in a person's body or various layers of their auras causing a wide range of physical and emotional and mental spiritual difficulties. And they become almost like programs within yourself so they'll keep on playing over and over and over and over again until you get down inside of yourself let them go change the program and yes you can do that because the thoughts pull up and you say no that's not what i want to think anymore that's not who i am i i um, everything is happening to me exactly the way it should be you know i am love everything flows to me exactly how it should and everything flows back to me exactly how it should everything happens in divine timing and divine order everything is uh, is uh, i'm healing at all times all the food that i'm taking in gives me the proper and uh, greatest amount of nourishment you know the, i'm letting go of everything that doesn't belong to me anymore those things because you don't want to hold on to baggage so that's what that's what letting go of uh, what is not of my divineness is all about you're letting go of baggage and if you can sit here and do this, then you're going to be cleansing your aura and letting go, and you're going to let things surface that you can actually look at in your energy field and in your, in your psyche so that you can let go of it and forgive it. And that's where that Hono Pono Ono prayer is so powerful. And I think that um, you'll, you'll really enjoy that. There is a um, prayer that I'm going to bring up 
uh, here in a, in a second. Um, and so, and I, and I put it on Facebook this morning. Uh, I think you're going to, uh, I just love this prayer. I saw it on an advertisement, actually, believe it or not. Um, and so, um, I'm just going for that to pull up, but I, I don't want to mess up the live feed here either. So, um, well, so the next thing here is degrees of psychic attacks. Psychic attacks and other dark negative energies, entities and spirits can have a wide range of effect uh, from low to medium. The symptoms, changes, and health or behavior can also range from low to medium high. Uh, not all health problems or behaviors changes uh, are caused by psychic attacks since there can be so many causes for uh, the same symptoms. Confusion often exists when other physical and emotional difficulties are present in an individual's life. It's important to carefully assess all possible sources for the difficulties, including physical factors, energetic factors, and emotional factors. So that's just something to take in consideration. So we can draw dark energies to ourselves because likes attract like. That's what I was talking about earlier. We definitely can draw dark energies, entities, and spirits into ourselves without any influence uh, whatsoever from external sources. Prolonged states of anger, rage, resentment, bitterness, vindictiveness, and many other uh, types of fears will draw and attract these negative energies. Let me let me stop right there because that's something I'm a big proponent of saying you need to get into your emotions and allow yourself to work through anger and stuff like that uh, and, and those things and fear. However, you don't want to stay there. So that's why practicing self-awareness and understanding why that's coming up in your life and speaking to yourself you know, and giving yourself love and changing your story is super, super important. So because what happens is prolonged anger or a prolonged sadness, prolonged depression, literally starts to create a manifestation within the world to create over and over. You guys are powerful beings. I mean, that's that's the truth. And what's happened is we've manifested ourselves into a box, and and so and then we're afraid of ourselves because we think we think things like, oh, we're in a relationship and that that's the best relationship we're ever going to get, or we we're in this job that we want to leave and we we don't want to be in that anymore. We think that's the best we're going to get. We've been told lies like. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not good enough because I'm fat or I'm overweight. You know, those things. We've been told what is beautiful and not beautiful. And all of that stuff is bullshit. I mean, if you are healthy, happy, and aware, that your radiance will actually attract. And, and there, that's something that's, now it doesn't, I'm not saying don't go out and exercise, don't take care of yourself, because remember, it's body, mind, and spirit. What I'm saying is that we buy into an illusion of what is, uh, not true, and that's something we really need to be mindful of. So, um, let's go on. It's normal to get angry or fearful when things happen in our lives. These occurrences do not draw the dark side, uh, into us. It's long-term and prolonged states that set up an energetic attraction. Ongoing uh, repressed negative emotions can eventually turn into a certain type of entity. That's why we have to jump into those negative emotions so that we can understand where they're coming from. Violence of all types, physical and emotional and mental, is a very powerful draw for negative and dark types of energies. These re uh, regular use of drugs, alcohol, also draws these types of energies. Now, one glass of wine is a social habit does not affect our energy fields. However, when we become drunk, be it, uh, be it from alcohol or drugs, our or is becoming weakened substantially, and negative invaders are attached to uh, to the energy set up by this state. Smoking also greatly weakens the energy field and leaves us vulnerable and negative influence. Now, if you go out and have fun with your friends, not that big of a deal. But if you're getting drunk every night and you're getting drunk every night to suppress the negative emotions that you don't want to fo fo face in your cell, what that does is it, it literally creates the cycle of your support pushing down your negative emotions and those negative emotions continue to attract and you're getting this this false sense of euphoric state from the alcohol or the drugs meaning you're not facing your issues and so that's the issue what happens and that is uh, a lot worse than any type of uh, a drug addiction it's what happens that the, the avoidance of what we don't want to look at in ourselves that's becomes the issue so um, what, what to look for, you know, symptoms of psychic attacks and dark energies. There are many different symptoms that uh, can indicate negative and dark psychic energy spirits or entities. The following list identifies uh, a few major symptoms, but these symptoms can also indicate other types of health problems, and it's important to investigate all possibilities. Suddenly acting uh, total, totally out of character, major changes in behavior for no reason, a loss of memory, major changes in clarity of thinking or analytical ability, sudden ongoing fatigue for no apparent reason, a drained feeling, icy cold feeling on a part of all your body, hearing someone's voice regularly. That's not always negative attachments, by the way. That can be actual spirits, your inner voice, those things. I don't want you to get necessarily afraid of those, uh, but it's something that if you're practicing mindfulness and uh, self-awareness, you'll be able to see that. 
hearing someone's voice regular, hearing voices re uh, recurrent or frequent nightmares, strange or reoccurring accidents, feeling someone is watching you, that actually can be spirits as well, like if you have a passed on family member, and stuff like that. A discomfort or fear in a specific room or area of your home, that is something big. If you have a discomfort or something like that, um, you know, and so a loss of self-confidence, a sudden loss of energy, sudden illnesses that elude diagnosis, sudden illnesses that cannot be explained, feeling someone touch you or bump you when you know nobody is present, that can also be family members and loved ones. It's not always a, uh, um, you know, a, a spirit that has a, an issue or going to try to harm you. Feeling someone, I'm sorry, uh, sensing a presence, sensing a large pair of eyes watching you or following you, sudden or irrational difficulties with finances or relationship. Uh, imagining monsters, animals, or frightening shadows, you know, that, that can happen as well. Sudden depressions without an apparent cause, seeming ongoing bad luck, visions of hallucinations, irrational fear, anger, or sorrow, a negative obsessive thought, desire, or fetish that won't go away. This is not a complete list, but uh, can give you a fairly good idea of areas to look at, physical, emotional. Each person who is on the receiving end of a psychic text, dark energies, forces, uh, can have their own effects. So these are things that uh, it's not necessarily like all those things are like necessarily bad, but that's what I'm talking about with your taking time to meditate and uh, go into yourself. You can see these things, and then there is this inner voice that will say, and the difference between the inner, the bad, the negative inner voices, the negative voices are almost rough sounding, almost in they're deceptive and stuff like that. But you can tell there's a softness to the uh, the loving energy within you as well. And uh, so, now uh, I still want to pull up this uh, um, this quote that I had from this morning because it was powerful, and I'm just gonna um, read it out to you. It's on my basically it says if I have harmed anyone in any way either knowingly or unknowingly, through my own confusions, I ask their forgiveness. If anyone has harmed me in any way, either knowingly or unknowingly, through their own conf uh, confusions, I forgive them. And if there is a situation I am not ready to forgive, I forgive myself for that. For all the ways that I harm myself, negate, doubt, belittle myself, judge or be unkind to myself through my own confusions, I forgive myself. So that and the Honoponolono prayer, if you say these over and over again, that literally will release, because forgiveness is about letting go, it will release, and it literally this energy or vibration in, in your aura will become in this love and imbalance, and it'll, and it'll get it empowered, and you won't have to worry about all of this stuff because you know the the information I'm giving you is about awareness and but if you literally stay in that vibration of self awareness and forgiveness and uh, understanding and compassion, that energy will literally break itself out of your system and it won't have any power in you so uh, going on to the last quote here, it says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to a mountain, move here to there, it will move. Nothing will be impossible to you. This is Jesus. This is the man that everybody uh, believes in for the last 2,000 years. It's powerful. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible to you. But we forget about this. you know, And so we look at it and we say, we get scared of these energies and stuff like that and we forget that this powerful statement if you like if you give me an example i had uh, a spirit come into my room once and it was being it was a mischievous spirit and i said all right that's enough if you're going to act like that you can get out of my house and so it has to leave and if you say it with authority it has to move it has to leave it doesn't have any power over you if you don't allow it if you it's like a contract you can uh th this energy or this negative energy can come to you or these people can be doing these psychic attacks Tax to you, and if you don't, are not aware of it, and you start buying into the energy and start arguing with it or fearing it, that's like you're buying into the contract. And so you can say, "Ah, no, 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 I don't have to buy into that," and you can leave my life. Uh, and so, and I let go of you, leave, and you, uh, and uh, the highest and best good for you. Uh, that whatever, and then it has to leave. There, it has no dominion over you. You have dominion over this body, your life, your circumstances, not the other way around. And the thing is, is there are people in this world, there are energies in the world that want you to believe that you don't have dominion, and you do. 
And that's it. That's all we have to say. And so you have to practice every day looking at your doubts, looking at the things, the fears that you have, because the energies out there that want truly to manipulate you want you to be afraid. They feed off of your fear. So this comes down again. Truly, I tell you, if you have the faith that is small as a mustard seed, you can say to them, this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. And that's, that's the power right there. It's within you. You were made in the image of the creator of everything. I always tell people I work for the greatest CEO in the, in the universe. And when that energy says to do something, that's what I listen to. Now, it's not all about this fire and brimstone, uh, making you feel guilty BS. It's none of that. It's about you empowering yourself. When you empower yourself and you love yourself and you love others and you give to others and you and they will the universe will give back to you. It's give and receive. Then you truly empowered and then the glory of everything that is uh, that divine that is within you shines and you can't be affected by these energies, these psychic attacks. It's not going to happen. It won't happen. All right, I'm done. Uh, I'm going to Mount Shasta tomorrow. I'm pretty excited. I'll be in California for a week. Love you guys. Uh, send energy to Justin and everybody out there. It's going to be powerful. Um, my video from yesterday has the website uh, that you can go and check it out. You can actually can do a live feed and watch it. Uh, Justin uh, will be speaking on Saturday, I believe, at noon. So that should be pretty powerful. And uh, love you guys. Peace. And have a great week. I'm going to be trying to do some live feeds while I'm in uh, Mount Shasta as well. Bye-bye.